The perfect Santa Claus maintains his primary residence at the North Pole. Ho, 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 we may ask, ho, ho, ho. does he own or rent? That's none of your business. The traditional literature and Christmas songs do not say. Okay, it's a timeshare. Of course, it is the American dream to own your own home, just as it is the American daydream to own someone else's home and charge them rent, and it is the American nightmare to own your own or someone else's home and have to replace the roof and furnace in the same fiscal year. But our inquiry into Santa Claus's existence will find itself severely hampered here, if we do not, at the outset, grapple with one disturbing fact. It is possible that Santa Claus is not an American. Naturally, this idea is hard to accept. A loud, fat man who barges into people's homes to flaunt his wealth by foisting upon them an array of usually tacky, unnecessary commercial products. How can Santa Claus not be an American? Nonetheless, the documentation is inconclusive. We have no evidence of a birth certificate, high school diploma, selective service registration, driver's license, passport, or blockbuster card. Further, it may be asked, as I have often asked and no one has bothered to answer, well, just who owns the North Pole anyway? Canada? Russia? Lapland? What is Lapland? Isn't it a discount notebook computer site on the World Wide Web? And suddenly it strikes one. Could Santa be an Eskimo? We say Inuit, you hunyuk! Hon Fido! Hon Lassie! Hon Rin Tin Tin! Ho, 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 ho! Where my book looks?